Hello traders, FS Pipoetti here. Today is Friday, March 8th, and this is my analysis of the pound yen starting from the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I zoomed out a little bit because I think it's important that you see that this is an A, this move down right here is a wave B, and that this is very, very clearly a 1, 2, 3 of wave C. And most wave C's do take out the high of wave A. I think there's a possibility this could keep going up, take out the high of wave A before it goes down and makes a wave 4 and goes up again to make a wave 5. The 100% Fibonacci extension is all the way up almost to the 205 area, which is where I actually think this wave C is going to end up going. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. I mean, on the weekly time frame, it definitely has made a most recently made a pretty significant move to the downside, but... I'm not really convinced that this is a significant move. I think it's probably more likely just a correction to the uptrend. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. Now, daily time frame, I have my Fibonacci retracement on just this last push up right here. Now, a lot of the yen pairs do kind of look like maybe they could make a bigger move down and it could even end up being like an A, a B, and a C, and then later on going back up. But I got my Fib retracement on here because I think there's a better possibility that it might just be a correction to this last wave up. It might just bounce off one of these Fib levels and just keep on trending up from there. So keeping all this in mind, let's take it right down to the 4-hour time frame. 4-hour time frame, like I said, this could possibly be a wave A. It definitely is a trend. This is three waves up right here. It definitely looks like a wave B. This could be a wave C right here. If it is a wave C, we're at the 123 123.6 Fibonacci extension of wave A projected out the top of wave B. If it is a wave C, then this is going to make a higher low and then make an impulsive move up. If I see that right there, I definitely would take it as a long. I mean, I know that it, a lot of the yen pairs have made a pretty significant move down, but this all the yen pairs are basically in a five-year uptrend on the monthly time frame. And I don't really think that trying to identify the very top of a five-year uptrend is a good idea. Instead, I would prefer to just continue to go long every single chance I get on every single little pullback I see for the continuation of this five-year uptrend. So taking it down to the one-hour time frame. Now, we do have non-farm payroll news coming out today, and that definitely does affect again because it's a risk-on, risk-off currency. So yeah, like I said, if this makes a higher low, makes a big significant impulsive move to the upside i'm gonna go long again because the trend is up but i would have to see a pretty significant turn because some of the yen pairs do look like they could possibly make a bigger push to the downside so if we do get that big impulsive and golfing move to the upside i would definitely go long especially at the end of the pullback that comes after that engulfing move for the continuation of this uptrend so don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.